What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Um, a link will be in the description box below. As usual, um, this video is entitled Love is a Transaction. And for the most part, I would say love, loyalty, and hate is a transaction, but I'm going somewhere with this. So follow me. Um, love would be, I used to consider love an action. You know, you, you, you go out of your way to show somebody that you took the time to know them and care about them and do something to brighten their day or their life. To let them know that they're not alone in this world and somebody has their back and somebody down for them and somebody, you know, um, enjoys their presence on this earth. But, you know, with time and societal changes, it's a transaction. Because what's going on is, um, I was having a conversation with somebody this morning, this how this, you know. What people want, you know, the ladies, some of the ladies I talk to, you know, well, not just some, women want security, i.e. money. And they love you based on how comfortable you can make their life financially. So they don't love you. They love what you can provide. The more you can provide, the more they act like they love you. But, you know, um, so their love isn't actually a feeling. It's a transaction, you know. How much you got? Love coming right up. You know. <laughs> and, you know, guys, we are, you know, women give us back actual sex as their form of payment. For us paying for their love It ain't tricking if you got it right So what happens is You know Depending on how much she spends uh, Depends on how much she uh, how, how much of her body she gives out right And If he spends his money and she doesn't uh, Have sex with him It feels like you got cheated you know, the guy feel like he got cheated because, you know, she wanted his love, a.k.a. money. He wanted her body, a.k.a. love, you know. So, you know, this transaction was processed, you know. And people don't, you know, the, the, people say it, and then when they hear other people say it, they're like, no, it's not, it just sounds like prostitution and all that. Well, I mean, it is, but that's not the point. Like, <laughs> the point is, this is what we're doing. You know, this is what we're doing. So, it's like, uh, uh, I, I'm not doing that. I really love you, the human being. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know, because I'm going further with this. Because if you ask somebody, a lot of their love lies in... The, the people who leave their lives that they that they have these ideals about might have actually loved them uh, financially and or and or sexually, but also loved them spiritually. And they couldn't recognize the spiritual part of it because somebody with more money came along, or somebody who was more attractive and you wanted to buy buy her sexually came along, right? So then you wind up in these empty transactions. You know, when you wake up or lay next to somebody after you after the sex is over and you're like, I don't like this person. Like, why they here? Like, can you can you can you go home now? You know, that that's part of the transaction. But this also spills over into, you know, the hate of breakups, divorces and, and custody and all that, you know. That's a transaction, you know. I used to love you, but now I hate you so much, I'm going to make you pay me for all the time that I used to love you. So, you know, on that backing way, love becomes a transaction. It isn't about um, responsibility or, 
or you know making sure somebody that you you profess yourself to is taken care of no 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 it, it, it's about you know this transaction is done just like on the flip side of guys say look man i ain't messing with you no more i don't owe you nothing you know that debt is paid in full i shouldn't pay you f for the f in the future for for something that i'm not gonna get in the future you know now you can take the kids part out of that because you got to take care of your kids but just the other part you know uh and part of the overage of if guys pay too much child support and shit like that or you know alimony that's you know i'm paying you because i because you mad that i used to love you but now i don't love you no more that's what that is um but love is also a transaction when you look at how you treat your family and friends family first you know who's who does the family love the most who got the most money generally you know who's the family the most proud of the person who has the ability to make the most money generally you know if you're not doing good with your life do they you know this is where people who and families who aren't doing too well this is how they feel like they've been slighted and overlooked because they don't feel loved, they feel tolerated. Since you're not successful and you ain't generating no money, we can't say we're proud of you. We related to you, so we got to claim you. But, you know, I mean, if they had a draft coming up, I'd probably, I, I'd probably trade you for about, you know, the, the seventh round pick because, I mean, anything's better than you. You know what I'm saying? That's how, you know, that's how some people feel, right? And when it comes to friends. Some of these friendships are transact. The love in these friendships are transaction. Because you remember, and, oh, man, we did this. We went here. We went there. We, we had this experience. They got me this. They, you, know, forget, you know, forget the time and effort about them being there for you in actual times of crisis and times of need. And, and, and being there, because it used to be, you know, this person's there for me when, when I need them, this, pe this person cheers me up, this person makes me happy, this person is great company, you know, same thing with the family, this, this person believes in me, this person wants to see me win, this person uh, uh, will, will find a way to put me in a position to, you know, pursue whatever opportunity I want to pursue, but now it's not like that, it's, it's, it's transactional. You know, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna do something else? I mean, I don't let, you know, I, don't, I mean, you're falling off. I don't love you that much now. You know, that type of thing. And with, with, with transactions, you have two kinds, right? You have cash, you got credit, right? You know, some people make investments too. So, you know, it's just like that. It's a transaction. So, some people, uh, loving on credit like you know I remember what you used to do and you're not doing that right now but I'm letting you ride on your good credit from the past now that you're on this downtime but if you can't get back to loving me the way you was loving me when you was giving me what I wanted I'm gonna have to let you go yeah your, your love is gonna be denied from the bank of me you're denied you know, people are like, what? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, this is why people hold on to, you know, the memories. And it used to be they hold on to the memories because you could create new memories. But now the memories aren't necessarily about the moments, the memories of the person. They're about, you know, the, um, the, the, the currency that, that, and the social currency that it there was. Maybe you could tell somebody you did this, or you went here, or, or you was with this person, or you was in that event, or you know this person brought you around certain circles, or they taught you certain things, or, this, or, or, or you know, the sex was better, or, or they, they, they looked better because they took care of themselves better. So, you know, you remember what you had, and now you're like, I'm, I'm hoping that you fix it and bring it back to its, restore it to its, uh, a, a, a gr grand pass but if you can't you gotta go and then at the same time because love is a transaction and people are starting to 
treated as such, you know, you got multiple bids, you know. Like, I go back a little bit. Um, men work to make money, and women want the, 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 that money that man spends to... Um, men want that man to spend... Women want that man to spend the money he's worked for on them. But in return, he wants to see her work for him. You know, this does the cooking and cleaning and be there for me. That He wants to see her work for him like he works to make money for her. You get what I'm saying? So that's the transaction of it. But what ends up happening is when you realize you're not getting returns on these transactions or you, you fair returns on these investments, you start taking on, you start shopping other places. You start looking for other merchandise, you know. And because of that, this is, you know, the competitive nature and state of, I guess, current uh, relationships or the, the society. And people are having issues with this because it's really a transactional uh, competition. And everybody's competing now, but the people who don't want to compete want to act like it's not a, you know, they want to be on the fence. This is really spiritual love. I'm not making you pay for this. No, and, and and you got people who like you know, you can get chose by somebody, but just because you get chose by somebody doesn't mean you superseded the transaction. It means, you know, they gave you a free coupon because they wanted you. And normally it's sexually, it's like an impulse, because they want you, they want to treat themselves by having you. It's nothing special about it, isn't it? You know, and if you can have, the more you can have it happen to you, the more special you may see yourself, or may, if you feel like you got the cheat code, you know, you can get that out, because whatever, you know. Man, I say whatever, you know a lot. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here now, because that was too much. Whatever's in you knows. All right, so y'all have a good one. Catching on on the next video. Yeah.